Welcome to Friday's Fly Tying Class, where we tie flies to catch fish, not just fish. In this fly, we are using a fully mill 50-45 jig force black nickel hook, 2x heavy with a 564 gold bead. Time's getting ahead of me, yeah, and some red thread. All right, I think I have a chance here. So click like, make sure you subscribe to this channel. It helps me big time. If you want to help the channel with any monetary help at all to keep this thing going, click the first link below. Thank you, and back to the time. All right, so we're gonna use a pheasant tail, which I think was used in the original Rainbow Warrior, but. We're going to just, you'll see, it's almost like a rainbow warrior, but at the very end, we're going to add uh, a more deadlier element. All right, now I'm going to tie in this lash, tie it up to the bead. I'm going to wrap it like a rib almost, but back to back to cover it, the whole thing in this flash. And it's about a sixteenth. It's stuff you use for flash on streamers, fast bugs and stuff. It's like a sixteenth inch, maybe smaller. And I use it on all my Rainbow Warriors when you're going that small. You know, and if everything fly fishing right, they add a little bit extra to our tying, so... I would probably fish this over a bigger nymph your style, or I would put it on after like a right now a stone fly, a yellowstone tail and dropper off a of yellowstone under a strike indicator in deep, slow moving water. Um, right now they're going to be up in the rapids though; the water's warm. Make sure you keep temp your water temperatures. But yeah, I would either your style right now in a spring creek behind a bigger nymph like a size 12. And these little red ro rain uh, rainbow warriors are deadly. I've caught a lot of fish on them. Watch for videos to come. I'm catching them a lot on this one. Yeah, you don't have to be too easy on these rapids. So I don't really worry about it. It never affected how many fish I caught. I caught tons of fish, like tons and tons of fish. I didn't can believe how effective this fly is. When you fish it with the soft hat, you're really going to go, whoa. A rainbow dubbing ball right behind the bead. I got mine rainbow dubbing at Blue Herring. Go check them out. A lot of tying stuff, me tying stuff. No, I paid advertisement. They don't have, I'm not, that's not advertisement. I just like them. So I have a light brown, almost matches the ring neck tail and grizzly soft tackle. And now you're going to pull that back and tie that in at the tip. And then wrap that around. I know it looks like crap. It looks like a big ball of mess. But this is what catches fish. You want to catch fish when you make them pretty. You want to catch fish. Like a little sloppy. They look buggy. Ever look at a bug flown down a creek? It doesn't look all perfectly smashed. It looks all like a mess.
Hey, thank you all for watching that video. If I ever look like I struggle a little bit with the salt pack, it was a little rough. You might be able to do a better job. I've only been doing salt pack for a little over two years. That was like 38 years of time. <laughs> I just learned to start doing salt pack because I never fished white wet flies, and screamers, and dries, and cat skin styles. Okay, thank you for watching this video. Make sure you like and subscribe and click the first link below and check that out. You guys have a good day. Thank you for watching. Peace. And you guys have a good day. Tie some of these up. Deadly. Deadly.